Hello, I'm John, and today we're going to be comparing and contrasting the laser offerings from Xtool to help you decide which one might be for you. Here's the LaserBox Rotary Edition, which is a 40 watt CO2 laser. We also have the M1, which is unique in that it has a diode laser and a blade cutting head. Uh, this is a 10 watt but you can also get it with 5 watt laser head. And then we have the D1, which is a diode laser, which comes in 10 watt and has a 20 watt laser head. And there's a new Pro addition to this, as well as an IR laser head that just debuted. Let's start with outward appearance. Both the LaserBox Rotary Edition and the M1 come fully assembled. They have an enclosure built in. The D1, you assemble yourself, um, but assembly is quick. Both the M1 and D1 have won the prestigious Red Dot Award for design. You can find out more information about that at red dot.org. When comparing engraving between the three machines, the M1 and the D1 are diode lasers, which means they have a smaller dot size and you can get greater detail. However, they remove less material and engraving can take longer. When engraving with the laser box rotary, you have a larger dot size, but you can remove a lot of material and you can engrave much more quickly. Both the M1 and D1 can mark stainless steel without a marking agent. The rotary edition cannot. All the machines can engrave with the rotary accessory. The diode lasers will have some material limitations based on color or need extra preparation to engrave, like when you're engraving on clear glass. The laser box can engrave many cylindrical objects without preparation, but it's limited by the rotary size as well as the enclosure. Let's compare cutting between the machines. The laser box, by wattage and by virtue of being a CO2 laser, will cut the fastest and with the least number of passes. Here you can see the difference between the 40 watt and the 10 watt side by side. If you're wanting to do small, delicate cuts very close to each other, the smaller dot size that the diode laser has can do this well, even if it takes more passes. The M1 is unique among the laser offerings in that it also has blade cutting abilities, which allows for cutting materials that you'd be unable or are unsafe to be cut with the laser. All the X-Tool machines come with free software that you can use offline. Currently, the D1 also has Lightburn support, which advanced users will appreciate. The M1 and the LaserBox have software where you can do editing and design work within the software. They can also load various file types from your graphics editing software of choice. Safety is a big deal for me. I have kids at home and enclosure is a must for me. All the machines from Xtool have safety features that can help prevent fires from starting or spreading. The D1 Pro has additional features that enhance safety, and there are other videos that detail that. With any laser, no matter the safety features, never leave it unattended while running. So in conclusion, I'm gonna go through each machine and outline why it might be the best machine for you.
The laser box might be your best choice if you want to do clear acrylic cutting, if deep engraving is important to you, if cutting quickly is your most important thing, and it has the largest enclosure size. The D1 might be the best choice for you if you're looking for high detailed engraving, an open frame that allows you to place the laser on larger objects, or you need mobility as part of your work and you need to take it with you. The M1 might be the best choice for you if you really need blade cutting capabilities, as well as a small footprint um, the enclosure adds to the mobility. If you have an air, air filter system, you can take it on the go with you and bring your work to your customers. In the end, you're the expert on your needs, and hopefully this information can help you choose which X tool machine might be best for you. As always, ask your questions in any of our online communities. We have a Facebook group for the M1, for the D1, for the Laserbox, as well as an official group to ask all of your questions in. Stay tuned for more videos, and as always, have fun lasering!